The Celebration of the Day of the Dead in Mexico On November 2nd of every year, Mexico celebrates the Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead is celebrated in almost all the states of central and southern Mexico, mainly in Michoacán, Guanajuato, Puebla, Oaxaca, Yucatán, Chiapas, and Mexico City. On this special day, death becomes a party, the joy that your loved ones, who have already passed away, are with you again. People go to the pantheons, to offer a heartfelt tribute to loved ones who have already left. They clean their graves, bring them flowers and objects to decorate them. Many families bring food and drinks to share with their dead, with the understanding that their souls will come down to accompany them. In the houses, altars are placed with offerings of food, fruit, the very Mexican bread of the dead, sugar skulls, cut-out paper figures, the sempasuchal flowers, and of course, the Katrinas. The aromas of copal and incense are not lacking in these altars. The aroma brings us closer to ours. The bread of the dead is a delicious Mexican sweet bread, made with wheat flour, milk, egg, yeast, sugar, butter and often flavored with anise or orange. This bread can be found in many sizes and shapes, but the traditional shape is small and round, decorated with two crossed bones. Once this bread is baked, the surface is covered with sugar, cinnamon or sesame. In one form or another, the bread of the dead is a highly anticipated delicacy all year long. Sempasuchil is the flower that adorns the Day of the Dead in Mexico. In the Nahuatl language, Sempasuchil means flower with 20 petals. This flower stands out for its attractive yellow or orange color and its unmistakable aroma. In addition to adorning altars and offerings on the Day of the Dead, the Sempasuchil flower has medicinal uses, due to its antibacterial, antifungal and antioxidant properties. It is also used as a natural colorant and as a raw material to make craft beers, ice cream and even a good tequila. Another essential ingredient in the altars are the sugar or amaranth skulls. These sweet figures remind us of the ever-present death, that inevitable step from the earthly to the mystical. Some have the name of the deceased on the forehead and others, are given with the name of living people, reminding them of their inevitable destiny. Its roots are very old, it seems that the Arabs took the name and technique of Alphanix to Spain, and from there it went to Mexico. A very special place, in the celebration of the Day of the Dead, is occupied by Las Catrinas. To talk about the Catrinas, we must mention two great Mexican artists, José Guadalupe Posada and Diego Rivera. In engraving and mural painting, respectively, both characters were tireless social fighters, representing in their works a severe criticism of government abuse, with drama and a great sense of humor. 
La Katrina, more than death, represented a social criticism. Veronica Zacharias, teacher and guide at the Jose Guadalupe Posada Museum in the city of Aguascalientes, explains. The image of La Katrina, emerged at the beginning of the 20th century, from the hands of the Mexican engraver Jose Guadalupe Posada, to illustrate some rhyming verses about the Day of the Dead, known as Calaveritas, and mock social classes. The original name of Posada's engraving was Katrina Garbanzara, with which they designated the person who sold chickpeas and who, despite having indigenous blood, pretended to be European, denying his race and cultural heritage. About this type of person, Posada affirmed. In the bones, but with a French hat, with ostrich feathers. In his mural. Dream of a Sunday afternoon in the Alameda Central, located in the Mural Museum, in Mexico City, Diego Rivera represents famous people and events in the history of Mexico, including, among others, Frida Kahlo, Jose Guadalupe Posada, Benito Juarez, Porfirio Diaz, Hernán Cortés, and, in the center, a child version of Diego Rivera himself, holding hands with Katrina. Another traditional manifestation, to celebrate the Day of the Dead, are the literary skulls. Which consist of rhyming phrases, which form a fun play on words, and dedicated to a special person. Originating at the end of the 19th century, the literary skulls are an epitaph, expressing the black humor of Mexican sentiment. An example of these literary skulls is the one dedicated to the tennis player Rafael Nadal. Nadal was playing in the open, when suddenly, he saw a grotesque. She was the bony one on the other side of the court that the Waracha danced with rhythm. He said death, take out the ball now, and Rafa said, better a gun. The Spanish ran and ran, but the Calica soon caught up with him. Rafa for his life prayed and cried, and the skull only answered, do not know, it's November and my dream was to meet you. But the celebration of the Day of the Dead has had other manifestations in recent years. The 2015 movie Spectre, starring the legendary James Bond, kicks off with a Day of the Dead parade in Mexico City. This sequence fascinated the people of the capital to such a degree, that the parade is now a tradition every year. El gobierno de la Ciudad de México, te invita este sábado 29 de octubre a las 17 horas, al gran desfile Día de Muertos 2022, que dará inicio en la Puerta de los Leones de Chapultepec, y llegará por primera vez de noche al Zócalo Capitalino. Estas y muchas más sorpresas te esperan en el gran desfile. In case something is missing, we also have a parade of alebriages, which are representations of fantastic animals, made of cardboard, which with bright colors and attractive designs also adorn the beautiful Reforma Avenue in Mexico City. The Day of the Dead festivity does not mean that Mexicans do not fear death. We respect and venerate her in her fair dimension. We take the passage to the next life very seriously. But it is our way of remembering and venerating our loved ones who have passed away, we flourish with their memory, and, why not, celebrate those of us who are alive. Welcome to our wonderful festivities.